my name is Glenn Gross with Safeway Electric and welcome to my training room. Today I would like to demonstrate why the neutral wire usually burns up in homes. You can see that we have a blow dryer on one circuit and we have a vacuum on the other circuit. And the electrician here, he installed a twin circuit breaker with both the uh, red wire on it and also the black wire on it sharing the neutral. And I'll go ahead and I'll turn the circuit on now. Come on in. And you can see that one of the circuits is drawing 12.46 amps. And the other circuit is drawing 9 amps. Those circuits are okay, but when we check the neutral wire, you can see now that the neutral wire is drawing 22, 23 amps, and that neutral wire is overloaded. The red wire and the black wire are safe. They're rated for 20 amps, and so is the neutral. But because we have both the red wire and the black wire on the same phase, it's overloading the neutral. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and we'll separate the red wire and the black wire, put one wire on phase A and the other wire on phase B, and then we'll check the neutral wire, and we'll see that the neutral wire amperage will drop separated the circuits now. We have the black wire on phase A and we put the red wire on phase B. So I'll go ahead and turn these two circuits on. We'll take the amperage reading on both the red and the black wire and then also the white wire and, and show you what the difference it made, how it took the load off the neutral. So if you come on in and you take a look, you can see we're at 14.9 Amps on the uh, black wire phase A. Nine point five amps on phase B. Now on the neutral wire, as you can see it, it's dropped down to eleven point six, so it's gone down almost ten amps. So now the neutral wire is not overloaded and it's not going to overheat and burn up somewhere inside the home. 